there. Today, I was thinking about this. I was in the bathroom the other day looking at all the kids' bath toys, of which he has an ungodly amount because he saves all grades of things, including little ducks that he can win for a dollar He's and uh, little rubber balls. And he had all these little rubber balls in this little, like it looks like a little tr wire trash can, but it's not, it's a little plastic thing, okay? And I'm looking at them, and they're coming up over the top, and I'm thinking, well, that thing's about full. He's not going to be able to get any more in there. And then I look and realize that there's something in the bottom, and it's kind of on a slant. So it's actually holding those balls up over the top. I just need to get that toy out of the bottom, and it's going to be fine to keep holding those. <clears throat> and that made me think about this, how sometimes I think we got all this stuff, all these issues, and are on the surface. It's pretty obvious to us that we got these issues, we've got these troubles, or we have these bad relationships, or we have this, that, or the other things that are maybe overflowing. And in order to fix that, we can, you know, try packing it down, pushing it down, or just letting it overflow onto, you know, everything and the brother or whatever. But in order to fix it, I'm going to have to take that little tub, dump them out, go to the bottom of the thing, and get the thing out, and then refill it. Same thing here. In order for you sometimes to get your healing done, you got to get to the bottom of the issue. You can't just do this unless you get to the root of the matter. You know, if you keep picking certain uh, people, for example, and you, you don't know why, you got to find out where did this come from? What was the basis of this? Or if you don't allow yourself to have the joy that you need, or if you sabotage yourself in whatever way, you have to get to the bottom. Now the flip side of this, and this is good, sometimes you can find out too, maybe that um, you uh, get to the bottom, you take away that thing, and then you put those balls back in that basket there. Next thing you know, maybe you're getting over the top again. But maybe this time you're overflowing with more joy, maybe happiness, maybe goodness. So maybe removing your obstacles, that whatever those are to you, whatever that looks like in your world, Maybe, you know, it's emotional stuff. Maybe it's circumstances. Maybe it's, it's um, you know, certain um, things that it's no fault of nobody. It's just the way it is for you. These things that, you know, can hinder us in whatever way that is. But like I said, sometimes if it's a removable or a workable thing, some things you can't remove. You know, it is what it is, but sometimes you can find a workaround or you can use certain things that are, you know, in there to build on. And then, like I said, it could turn into a good thing. You either remove that obstacle and you, those little balls can fill that tub and overflow, or you might, might can use that to build on till you've got something that is stable and steady or not. You can do with that what you want. That's what I felt like I'm supposed to tell you about today.